Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video. So in this video, we are going to see about AND GET. We last time we have seen about NOT GET, today we will see about AND GET. Basically CMOS, actually in my previous video also I have not told you, this CMOS is nothing but your complementary MOS, okay? That is nothing but your complementary MOS, this thing is. C is nothing but your complementary. Always you will get your output as complemented, in complemented, okay? So you can able to see here, this is, a, this is nothing but my NOT GET, okay? This is my NOT GET, which have designed previously right so same not get here we are using okay so same not get we are using so always we get an complemented output so that's the reason we are using this not get so now let us see something like p p p concept triple p concept we will be seeing in this video okay what is this triple p first one is p is your p mos next p is you should connect in parallel and third p is Third P is the way PMOS should be connected in parallel. That's it. Uh, PMOS plays parallelly. Okay. I think that is a total thing of this. Okay. PMOS plays parallelly. So this is your PMOS and this is your PMOS and PMOS plays not and how we will write and F is equals to A dot B, right? A dot B you will be writing. So dot is nothing but your product, right? This dot is nothing but your product. So PMOS, whenever PMOS you want to place it, if it is in dot product, means nothing but product. PMOS parallel when it when is a product. Okay. Product term you are getting. So here I have product term. So PMOS should be placed parallelly. So these are placed parallelly. So okay? you, you can able to see A and B. These are given and they are placed in parallelly. And that will be complement for your NMOS curve circuit. Okay. This is your NMOS circuit, which is serial. Okay, one after the other. They are connected this is your serial and this is your parallel okay any big circuit if you take if you want to design in cmos then you always connect pmos product connected in parallel okay premos product connected in parallel okay so that is the thing so a and b are parallel and here these two are series and obviously we will be using an inverter so today we will see this thing and you can able to see low low is nothing but your low you will get your low and low high you will be getting your low if both are high only we will get a high output okay so that is the thing we will be seeing here so now what we will do we will realize only one thing how we get a high kind of thing and how we get a low kind of thing okay so let us see how we get high and how we get low so now let us take this part and let us realize okay i am giving a as 1 and b as 0 right if i give a 1 then it will not conduct if i give b 0 b 0 means it will conduct in my previous video i have told you right so my vd vc vdd will be conducting coming here and you know it will conduct because a is nothing but your this is b right this is b is nothing but your 0 a is nothing but this is your 1 so b is will not conduct because it is 0 so my total voltage will be going here right now you can able to see when vdd will be going here right now here i have logic one the inverter you know if i give one i will get your zero so that is how i got low right so one zero nothing but this will be your on and this will be your off this will be your off this is however it is on okay this is shorted but also it is no use because there is no connection here right so that's the reason you will get your zero output here and it will be low okay this is how you will be getting and similarly if you realize for this case you will be finding it out okay that thing also you can find out it out so now let us implement in dsch okay this is your dsch basically it was the previous one only let me delete these things okay this is how i have deleted it now what i'll do uh, i will place and i'll place here this module which module this module i'll be placing it out here okay this module i'll be placing it out and get okay so basically let us for that i require some things you can know view symbol library i want i require two pmoses which are connected parallelly and one, two nmos which are connected serially this is how we got here serial serially and one more thing what i need to do i need a wire here you can able to see i can connect them but i can connect it anyhow let me connect it clearly for your easy understanding okay this is how connected and i should connect this also and i need to connect this thing and this thing need to be connected and this thing and this thing need to be connected and this thing need to be connected to your vcc right so here i have your vcc so that's the reason i have connected here the output of this is connected here as you can able to see 
in the diagram okay now this is nothing but your inputs so this is how i will be going here and from here again i will be going it here i am overlapping it no node will be formed here you can able to see you can pause the video and you can able to see the node is formed here but there will be no node here okay i need to connect two grounds at one point so that's the reason this is how i have connected your two grounds right now what i'll do i'll take inputs this is your a and this will be your b and there will be a one output that is nothing but your led so let me connect again and take a wire connect it and you connect it and just zoom out and what you can do is you can place it in a proper way and then you can simulate it as we know whenever your pmos is giving we are giving zero pmos will be connected and this will be open so okay this is connected and this is open so see they are connected you are getting your vc from here you are one so nothing but your inverter i'll get zero right now you can take any of combination this may be on or this may be on you will get your off because you have seen your true table right low 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 high low high low low both are high then only will be on now that becomes the case called high high so that's how this works all okay hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something in the by this video in my previous video you can if you want to see that video also then you can have it you can see the link there will be placed upon my the video you can have a look on it or if you are in the channel then you can subscribe my channel if you like then only subscribe if you don't like this kind of series of videos you're not interested in this technology then you can move to my other section also there is another section very log and we tell if you like those videos just you see watch them and then you can have a look or if you don't want this vlsi related things and if you want embedded course related one one related course then you can have a channel i have a channel separately called jnt labs there you can have a have a look of it and how the embedded system works and all if you are not interested in electrical or vlsi channel then i can't do anything so that's okay hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching so last thing i need to show you is your timing diagram so this is what your timing diagram is 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 and this is your 0 1 and this is your 1 1 and that's all for today thank you